Well, let's talk a little dancing right now. Michelle is here, and next week the contestant is going to be reliving their most memorable year. It's always interesting to see what they choose. Yeah, you know, and for IndyCar driver James Hinchcliffe, this was an easy choice for him because he nearly lost his life in a terrifying crash just 16 months ago. I was appreciative of the position I was in before, but man, it really drives the point home when you almost lose it. I suffered a pretty big concussion yeah. in it, and I have no memory of the accident itself. The IndyCar driver lost control during a qualifying race and hit a wall at more than 200 miles per hour. Anybody who's seen the video of that crash, James, is saying, how'd you walk away from that? Right? Yeah, it didn't tickle, that's for sure. <laughs> but I was, honestly, I was so lucky. For those hundred things that went wrong, there was a thousand things that had to go just right. For me to not only survive that, be able to race again, be able to have absolutely no lasting side effects. How long did it take you from the accident to step back into a car again? It was, it was four months, just over four months. That's crazy. They said it would be six or seven, but I was motivated, so. <laughs> and now the race car driver is motivated to take home the coveted mirror ball trophy. You're this guy over here, this race car driver. <laughs> kind of guy, and then all of a sudden you put this glitter on and you transform. Like I mean, rhinestones. It's not just it's not glitter. It's rhinestones. <laughs> Get it right. Totally different. <laughs> way more acceptable. It's fine. It's fine. What do you really think your shot is? I really think that we have the the ability to make that final. James dances beautifully every Monday because of the hard work that he puts in, not because it's a natural talent. He practices every minute that he's with me, and kind of when he's not with me, he's sure. thinking about it. Pass on the airport was probably not a good move. Oh, yeah. uh, a lot, a lot of this in the airport. People kind of like, what is going on? <laughs> He's funny. Yeah, the TSA was probably like this, though, when he yeah. was stomping through the airport. Now, while Sharna thinks they have a really good shot at making the finals, winning Nancy, different story, because they feel like there's a big stumbling block wrapped up in a little bitty package uh -huh. that's in no their way. Talking about. You know who I'm talking about. They feel this competition is Lori and Val's to me. Right I here. think pretty much everybody yeah. does think that as well. <laughs>